Well, howdy there, Internet people. It's Bo again. So today, we are going to talk about the lost and found. We're going to talk about the lost and found. And Tucker Carlson. And excuses. And doing silly things. And the way things are all over the world. And the way they've been for a very, very long time. If you don't know, some of the uh, some of the people involved in the recent unpleasantness at the Capitol on the sixth. Afterward, they called <laughs> they called the lost and found and tried to recover items that they they might have dropped during their visit. Of course, this. Uh, kind of got turned into evidence, and in some cases, I guess, led to their arrest. Tucker Carlson got on his show and tried to spin that into evidence that they didn't think they had done anything wrong. They obviously were unaware of what was happening. They didn't know they had broken any laws. Otherwise, they wouldn't have done that. No, no, I don't think, uh, I don't think he should get off that easy, to be honest. I do not think that Tucker Carlson should get off that easy. See, here's the thing. This excuse, this idea that, oh, this person did this silly thing right after an incident, that kind of shows that they didn't think they did anything wrong. I've heard that before. I heard it once about an incident that occurred way back in 1993. A, uh, a guy, he rented a, a rider truck. And he did something horrible with that truck. In the process, that truck got blown up. Then he went back and tried to get his security deposit back for that truck. Using Tucker's logic, that guy didn't think he broke the law. He didn't think he'd done anything wrong, right? What's the reality? The reality is that he didn't understand the way things worked. He didn't understand the gravity of the situation because while he didn't have uh, a clear understanding of anything because he was ill-informed, he did have a bunch of rhetoric that had been fed to him his whole life, telling him that he was in a struggle, that this is what he needed to do to protect his way of life, that this is how he could be a real patriot, that this is how he could earn his place in history, right? Didn't work out so well for him, by the way. Um, there are a lot of people who were there on the 6th who did not understand the gravity of the situation, who didn't really understand what they were involved in, didn't understand that they were really just cover for something else. They didn't get any of that. They didn't understand the way things worked. But they did have people fill them with a lot of rhetoric, telling them that they were in a struggle for their very way of life, for their country, that this is how they could be a patriot, just like 1776, that this is how they could earn their place in history. It's so the same thing all over the world. A bunch of rich people using those who they could con and sending them in the breach to do their dirty work for them. All over the world, it works that way. And it's worked that way forever. There are people who participated in the 6th, actually had physical altercations with law enforcement, got pepper sprayed, and then when they were walking away, they like shouted their name to live streamers. Because there was such a disconnect. Because of the rhetoric. Because of what they had been fed. They didn't even seem to think that... If you have an incident with law enforcement in which they pepper spray you, that they might come looking for you later. They were uninformed. Where do they get their news, Tucker? No, I do not think that uh, it, it, it's, it's enough to just sit there and say, oh, well, they didn't understand that they were completely innocent. And I get it. I get wanting to try to help them. Because I think on some level, there are a whole lot of people in the media 
who know that those people were there because of the stuff they said for writings. But, no, just because they did something silly afterward doesn't mean they don't understand what they did at the time. Doesn't mean that they weren't aware they were breaking the law. I don't, uh, I, I don't think that just simply saying that they were too dumb to know what they had done is uh, is going to clear the slate. The reality is we have to ask who fed them that rhetoric. Who left them that ill-informed? Who told them that they needed to be patriots and earn their place in history and that their way of life was being taken away and that they needed to get involved with the struggle? And if you speak Arabic, yeah, I'm using that word on purpose. Because it's the same thing. Anyway, it's just a thought. Y'all have a good day.